Hey, just slid in there in the nick of time. How y'all doing this morning? My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. And I'm on the wrong microphone there. There we go. That's much better. There, that's what we're talking about. How are you guys doing this morning? Just to restart that, my name is Tom Rigsby, your host. This is seven-ish minutes in the morning where we talk about stuff to help you get your day started well. And uh, just a quick programming note before I forget to mention it later on. No coffee shop show today. It is Wednesday. Eric and I normally do the coffee shop show. Oh, man. Abby, you're close. But at least on my screen, Brooke, uh, Brooke beat you. I'll get to that in just a minute. No coffee shop show today. Uh, Eric and I both have time conflicts today, but we will be back with that next week. So you just get me this time today. So, um, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, now that's actually funny because neither Joe nor Keith have even said hi yet. So the ladies dominating this morning. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, Brooke. Brooke wins the uh, greeting contest this morning. First one to say hi in the comments. Good job. I uh, I was so wrapped up in trying to remember to tell you there's no coffee shop show today. I wasn't even watching that. But good job. All right. So um, what else? Oh, yes. If you like watching the podcast, but every once in a while you need to be away from your computer, that's okay. Actually, Facebook Live works on your phone. But you can also pick it up on your favorite podcast catcher, Stitcher, TuneIn, uh, iTunes, all of those, it's available there. Just look for seven minutes in the morning. That gets you to the right place. And if you happen to be listening on one of those, head your hiney on over. I don't have my hiney coffee cup this morning. Head your hiney on over here to Facebook. Go to seven minutes in the morning dot com so you can join in the greeting contest. Try to be the first one to say hi every morning. So, um, I titled this show or, or something along the lines of, um, because I can't see it once I start it here. Why I talk about managing your time so much. And it just so happened that this rolled up in my my quotes list this morning, but it's a good one. One I've been using for a long time. And here's how it goes. This is a Steve Jobs quote. Your time, and actually this comes from, I think it was a 2005 Stanford commencement address. Maybe if one of y'all can look that up. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 2005. He gave the commencement address at Stanford, and that's where he kind of told everybody he'd had cancer and stuff was going on. So this is a line that I took out of that, but it's it, it had a big impact for me. So that's kind of why I harp on this stuff. Your time is precious, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Your time is precious. Don't waste it living someone else's life. You know, we are each, I, you've heard me say this a lot, we're each uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to do work that matters, to do something that we were put here to do. Last week, I think I used the analogy of a puzzle. You know, it's like, you know, your life is a, a thousand-piece puzzle all spread out on the table. You can't really see the picture until you start putting some of the pieces together. Some of those pieces are things you do. A lot of those pieces are the relationships that are in your life. If you are supposed to be a piece in someone else's puzzle and you don't show up, you don't do what you're supposed to, you don't do your podcast, you don't do your business, you don't do the work, that, um, the, the craft that you are uniquely skilled at, then there's going to be a missing piece in their puzzle. You don't want to be the missing piece in their puzzle and you don't want missing pieces in your puzzle, right? So do the things you're supposed to do. Live your life. And there's a great, I talked about this on the radio yesterday, a great, mm, I'll go ahead and call it an injustice being done to kids. And it's been done for at least as long as I've been an adult because it was going on when I was in high school. Um, you might be gifted and talented in one particular way. And... People that care about you, that are interested in your success, will tell you, oh, you're really good at that, but you'll never make a living doing that. What are you going to do to earn a paycheck? Right? And so we compromise away from the things that we're gifted and talented to do. 
because, right, the paycheck matters. And yeah, I mean, money is money's the medium that we use to take care of things and to pay the bills. But it's not at, in any way, shape, form, or fashion the right measure of success. Right? Your measure of success. Here's the question that I ask. I'll go ahead and I don't share this a lot out in public, but I'll do this right now. If you, this is the question I ask for my coaching clients to help us work toward defining their vision. All right? Hey, Joe, good morning. You're woefully late today, buddy. Um, here's the question I ask to help you define your vision. If money, time, and location were not a constraint, if money, time, and location were not a constraint, what would you do? Where would you do it? Who would you do it with? Think about that. And and then pretty often I can get an answer back within uh, 30 to 60 seconds. I'll have a pretty good answer back. And then I start adding detail to it, piling on. And, you know, I, I, I said this to somebody yesterday. I, I, I dare you. I dare you to live in that space in your mind, right? Think about that definition of success. If I could do anything, if I could be anywhere, money, time, location, not a constraint, I would do this, right? I'd live in a house on the beach in Ecuador. I'm just making that up. Okay, tell me about it. What time would you get up? What would you have for breakfast? What would you do after breakfast? I mean, just... I, I dare you to try and spend 30 minutes living in that place in your mind. Just close your eyes, sit there and think about the, the success, defining the details of that success. Do that for 30 minutes without getting up and doing something to actually make it happen. You can't do it. Not possible. Because when you, when you go there, our brain is a magnificent device. It doesn't know the difference between imagination and real things. So when we do that and we begin living in that space, we actually get a chemical reward in our brain. The endorphins get released. We get happy. We get excited. We get a little bit of adrenaline going in there and we need to go do something. Now the flip side of that works too. If I spend all my time in the, in the negative Nancy zone, Figuring out the reasons why, I, well, I yeah, that's a great dream, but I could never do that because of this and this and this and this and this. And we're usually really, really good at coming up with a list of reasons why not. It only takes one great reason why. So answer that question for yourself. Well, I'm piling on the homework today. Answer that question for yourself. If money, time, and location were not a constraint, what would you do? Where would you do it? And who would you do it with? Right, and then write it down. Take uh, I don't have. Do I have it handy? No, it's over there. I don't have my my journal handy, but just get a book. I like a composition book. Whatever you like, start writing. Describe it. Talk about it. Think about it. What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for lunch? What do you have for dinner? All the things that go into it. Describe those. Live there. Spend some time in it. And that becomes your definition of success. When you start spending time in it, in your brain, your brain helps, begins making it a reality for you. That's the whole reticular activation system or part of your brain. We'll talk about that another day because, look, it's already nine minutes into it. Oh, you got me on a roll. I hope that was helpful. Think about, begin getting some clarity around your definition of success and then, you know, As Steve Jobs says in our quote of the day today, don't waste your time living someone else's life. Your definition of success is your life, and and it's never, ever too late to start. Remember, no coffee shop show today. We're both time conflicted today, so we're going to have to pass on that this week. That'll be back next week. I'll be back here again tomorrow with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. It's uh, Wednesday. Have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll be back here again tomorrow. I'll talk to you then. Take care.